Hi there, my name's Al, and this is the Adequate Outdoors. Now, one of the things that I'm always worried about is when I go out on my kayak, uh, all my expensive fishing gear going overboard if I was to bail. So I'm going to have a crack at making a paddle or rod leash, something that you can uh, wrap around the paddle so that if you end up in the drink, you are able to have your gear still with you afterwards, even though it might be a little bit wet. So uh, to do this, I've got some shock cord, uh, ideally, this is probably a little bit too thick if I'm really honest, but uh, we're going to make it work, it's going to do an adequate job. Uh, so that's that, I've got some uh, rope little clips to keep the rope in place, which would be really good, they just bite into the paracord. I've got a stainless steel clip that I'm going to whack onto the end, uh, some nylon 3mm cord that's going to be what goes around the rod and grips on, and some heat shrink which I'm going to put around it just to keep it nice and uh, tidy at the end. So uh, first things first, uh, the stainless clips have got like a little eye in them and I am going to thread those through there. So that's around about that, probably wanted about five centimeters in, maybe four, uh, and then it's going to sit like that. We will grab the clips. You could tie a knot to do this if you didn't want to. Bet. I was trying to think how I could make it look nice and tidy. Uh, so this is what I have experimented with. Um, you probably want some kind of swivel on there too. So uh, as soon as I get it in there, hold it in place. Got everything where I want it to be. And then I grab my pliers, give them a good squeeze. Close that around the end there. So I'm just squeezing that lots and lots of times. I'm being a bit cheap because you can buy these uh, the little dog leash clips. They've got like a swivel action on them, uh, but they're super expensive, the stainless steel ones. Um, you have to have stainless because you're going to be working around salt water. You still want to make sure you give your gear a bit of a, a clean with some fresh water afterwards or some salt away. Um, but anyway, that's one thing less to stress about. So we've got that pretty much nice and small. I'm trying to keep it as tight as I can so that the shrink wrap goes around it. My signature on it. So here we go, sliding that over the top. It won't need to shrink when I have to push it so hard on. Um, anyway, we'll do the shrink wrap later. So at the other end, there's the clip. At the other end, we're going to grab probably about 30 centimeters of nylon rope. I have singed the ends with a just a little lighter, I've got a little gas torch just to seal those. I've done the same with the ends of the shock cord. So, uh, same deal, that forms a loop around there. Oh, make sure that you pop your shrink wrap on first so that you pull it back over rather than trying to fidget with it a little bit later. So, uh, that's on there. Pop about maybe two centimeters, two to three centimeters overlapping. Hopefully, see that there. I don't really care if you can't because it's, this is an adequate job. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you get your next rope clamp. I don't even know what these things are called. I need to look in the rubbish bin to find out what they're called. I think it's a a rope splice clip. For joining a couple of ropes together but I am repurposing them uh, and that will do an adequate job and that's we all know that's why we're here for being adequate as best we can so that's all just lined up in there I get my pliers again and give them a good squeeze obviously because this is just thinner rope doubled up over itself it's gonna go over a lot easier than the double uh, shock cord. 
starting to look pretty tidy. Give that a little squeeze together. Squeeze that way. Final squeeze of that way. Just trying to make it nice and circular, but also just enough to clamp in that nylon. God, it's looking pretty sharp. Give that a tug. It's stuck in there pretty good. Now we slide. Shrink wrap over the end. Slide that over properly. I'll probably fast forward this. You know, like I did on the snapper thing. When I take too long, you'll never know. Because will it be two times or four times sped up or maybe eight? Uh, but anyway, pretty soon I'm going to have one of those montages where I show you a picture of a fish or uh, wrapped around the rod how this works. I don't know. Put something on there. And this will be a finished product. And you'll be like, wow, how did that happen so quickly? I'll, I'll, we'll all know. It's just speeding things up on the old uh, iMovie. I'm using iMovie to make these. I, I do know how to use Premiere Pro and some of the high-end stuff, but hey, this is the adequate outdoors, not the high-end outdoors. Uh, so almost there on this. Whoever said, uh, whoever said not to squeeze that on with a bit of a blonker, it's taking ages. Let's squeeze that even more. In. Oh, that might go on a bit faster. There, oh, perfect. All right, so that's on really good. Give that other end a bit of a squeeze and see if we can make that smaller. It's not looking promising. I might have to find some uh, thicker shrink wrap for those far ends, but hey, uh, you get the deal. Let's show you this end going down with the shrink wrap. Here we go, the AO. What that'll do is uh, keep it nice and tidy, really. It won't be watertight, and you look. There we go, nice and tidy. You've got an end to go around your rod. A little loop that grips onto itself, so you can throw that end through. My arm was a rod. Look, I'm not going anywhere. I'm stuck here because this is quality piece of kit right there. Uh, That was really pathetic. Gratuitous use of a puppy. Uh, Alright, back to me sucking at doing this. It's looking a bit better from this end. So when I said put it on first and don't try it from this end, well, what was I thinking? Honestly, it's 10 times easier this way. Oh, the other thing you'll note here is I forgot to put on stainless clip but uh, you don't have to put a stainless clip you could also try something random uh, you can try something random like a carabiner now these aren't stainless uh, because I'm cheap and I would rather replace something that's disposable rather than pay for something that's going to last forever um, these will do an adequate job as clips what carabiners are for. They're not weight bearing so you don't have to stress. Although these would take 200 pounds apparently. Um, so that's going to just easily clip through the loop like the other one would. See that, that performs clipping functions just as well as the other one. Carabiner gives you something to grip while you're pulling it through. Like I knew that. And I was just keeping it from you to, to pretend to look like I was adequate. Maybe I'm actually really good at stuff. Didn't think of that, did you? Nah, I'm very adequate. I'll be honest. <laughs> Same problem in that end. Uh, and we'll flame this puppy. Not, not that puppy, this puppy. 
Well, I've got to be careful what you say now. Like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, that, not so much. So, that's pretty much how you do it. I'll grab a fishing rod so you can see how to install it, how to use it. Uh, here we have a little soft bait rod, a little uh, DL2500FB bait runner. Uh, this is what I caught most of those fish the other day from the uh, How to Fill It a Snapper video. Um, all you want to do is grab the loop end, pop it uh, in between the first eye and the, the reel, and just slide it through itself, and that grips on like that. So, Clip that to my kayak, boom, shake the room. If I come overboard, that's not going to go far. So uh, the cost 15 bucks or 10 bucks or something to make one of these. If I bought these in from uh, China or AliExpress or something, they're just going to get cheaper and cheaper. Uh, so yeah, so there we go. Rod clip, a little bit of play. You could put some swiveled stainless clips on that end uh, and that would enhance the model. Uh, but other than that, pretty simple, could save you lots of money if you happen to come off your kayak. Uh, so I hope that was really helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think. Have a go, show me pictures, send your own sort of versions of that. There's no right or wrong way really. I basically went to the hardware store and thought that could work, that could work. And uh, yeah, 